We thank you for being a steadfast Father, Jesus, one who never fails, who is always there looking out for us, Jesus. Even when we fail you, even when we fall short, even when our carnality overtakes us, Jesus, you are constant. And today we lift you up as the only God, the only King, the only one who reigns. Oh God, we magnify your name, Jesus. And I, right now I'm praying, Lord God, that you may have your way in this service that self may be slain that we may see only you jesus that you may get the glory because at the end of the day we are here for you jesus so lord god be magnified let your name be exalted that we may see only you and that we may come to desire only you jesus in your name i pray in jesus name i pray amen I have made you too small in my life, oh Lord, forgive me, and if I have believed in a lie, that you are
He's mine.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus is the sweet.
Jesus. Everybody. Hallelujah, Jesus. But God wants Glory us to worship. To your name, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Prayer for the Matthews family who are grieving. Prayer for Rupert Smith for healing. Praise the name of Jesus. And I'm just asking you all to pray for my father and family 
He has lost his nephew. He died. Praise the name of Jesus, Sister Gabriel. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. The Lord is so good. What a privilege to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. We magnify your name, the Lord God. You are great, and there is none like you, Jesus. We depend on you. We call upon you. We even know Jesus because you are our Father. You are our King. You are our hiding place. You are our safe refuge, Jesus. And even now, Lord God, I want to thank you for being that sort of God who heals, who has compassion on the brokenhearted. Lord Jesus, even now, Lord God, I bring to you this service, Lord Jesus. And I'm praying that, Lord God, that you may do your will, Jesus, that self may be slain, Lord God, that we may not be lifted up, oh God, but that we may draw nigh unto you and to worship you, Jesus. Your word, oh God, commands us to come hither, to come towards your throne, to come towards the place in where you rest, Lord Jesus. So now, Lord God, I'm praying, Lord God, for a spirit of worship, Lord God, that we may worship you in the beauty of holiness, that we may give you everything we have withholding nothing because at the end of the day Lord Jesus it is you who is to be worshipped it is you who is to be praised so Lord God Jesus have your sweet way Lord God we know that we've come into this house Jesus with many problems many situations there are persons who have asked request oh God for prayer Lord Jesus who need healing who need deliverance Lord God who needs prayer pray Lord Jesus even even now Lord God I'm praying Lord God that you may lift our faith that we may believe on the healing power of our Lord Jesus because if we do not believe Lord God how can we be healed Lord God, I pray, Jesus, that you may touch the families who are grieving, that you may touch their spirits, Lord God, that even now as they're in your tabernacle, they may be able to lift up a praise despite the bad, oh God, despite, oh God, the situation. Lord Jesus, I pray, oh God, that you may touch the families, Lord God, Sister Jody's family, Brother Matthew's family, Lord God. I pray, Lord Jesus, even now, Lord God, the Bryant family, Lord Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that you may touch them, Lord Jesus, that you may heal them, oh Oh God, that whatever surge you, whatever situation, Lord God, that your perfect will may be done, Lord Jesus. God, I pray that at the end of the day, you may get the glory, Lord Jesus, because our lives are not our own. We live to worship you, Jesus. So despite the burdens and despite the pain and despite the grief and the situations we have entered your tabernacle with, your word says to enter with thanksgiving because we still have life we still have movement in our body and we are still able to give worship because it's the worship that brings your presence down it is the worship that heals it is the worship that delivers so Lord Jesus let your will be done in your name I pray in no other name but the name of Jesus amen hallelujah thank you Jesus and we all say in Jesus name Thank you, Jesus. You're worthy to be praised. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. And the theme this morning is pushing onward with the original. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jesus. And at this time, I'm going to ask Minister Dixie to come, and she'll be reading the scripture. will be taken from Isaiah 52. Praise the Lord. Reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 52. Praise God. And we're going to be reading together Isaiah 52. If you have found it, say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. So we're going to start after two. One, two. Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself from the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. Loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. For thus said the Lord, He have sold yourselves for naught, and he shall be redeemed without money. For thus said the Lord God, 
my people went down a fourth time into Jerusalem, Egypt, to sojourn there, and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, what have I here, said the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught? They have ruled over them, made them to howl. And my name continually, every day, is blasphemed. Therefore my people shall know my name. Therefore shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the, the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. Thy watchmen shall lift up with the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Break forth into joy, sing together, he waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord hath comforted his people, he hath redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord hath made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. Depart ye, depart ye, go ye out from thence, touch no unclean thing, go ye out of the midst of her, be ye clean that bear the vessels of the Lord. For he shall not go out with haste, nor go by flight, for the Lord will go before you, and the God of Israel will be your re reward. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled, and shall and be very high. As many were astonished at thee, his visage so, was so marred more than any man, and his form more than the sons of men. So shall he sprinkle many nations. The king shall shut their mouths at him, for have been told them, shall they see, and that which they have not heard, shall they consider. Praise the Lord. The Lord bless you. Praise the Lord, everyone. Can we all turn our Pentecostal hymn to 195? Oh, I want to see him. As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary, to the Prince of Flow, many arrows pierce my soul from without within, but my Lord leads me on through him I must win. Oh, I want to see him, to look upon his face, there to sing forever of his saving grace. On the streets of glory, let me lift my voice. to rejoice when in service for my Lord dark may be the night but I sing more close to him he will give me light Satan says hey, that's my soul turn my soul to the side but my Lord goes ahead he will never be tied oh I want to see upon his face there to sing forever of his saving grace on the streets of glory let me lift my voice here's a past oh my past ever to rejoice when in valley low I look towards the mountain high and behold my savior there Yeah. 
When I get there, hallelujah, praise be the Lord. When I get there, when I, oh, when I get there, when I get there, I will sing a shout. When I get there. When I get there, hallelujah, praise be the Lord, when I get there. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the name 
of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There be no sorrows there. Jesus. No more burdens to bear. No more sickness. No more pain. No more parting over there. And forever. Presence of the Lord this morning. Um, I see Sister City down there. Bless the Lord from the community. And uh, I'm seeing, um, I'm, I'm not sure of the name. Could you let me know, tell me your name, please? Yes. Pardon? Oh, br brother and sister Curlew? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to welcome everyone here today in the presence of the Lord. For those who are online, welcome. Bless the Lord, all the children. Bless the Lord. Let's worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Welcome, welcome all of you. Glad you just go around and shake each other's hand. With us, shake hands. No need to be blue. Welcome to you. Welcome, welcome all of you. Glad you are with us. Shake hands, no need to be blue. Welcome to you. We are happy people. Yes, we are. We are happy people. Yes, we are. We baptize in Jesus' name. Spoke in tongues when the Holy Ghost came. We are happy people. Yes, we are. We are happy people. Yes, we are. We are happy people, yes we are. We baptize in Jesus' name, spoke in tongues when the Holy Ghost came. We are happy people, yes we are. I love that thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. I love that thrill that I feel when I get together with God's wonderful people. It's so nice to see those happy faces praising God. The thrill that I feel when I get together with God. Wonderful people. I'm glad to be God's service. I'm glad to be God's service. I'm glad to be God's service. One more time. He didn't have to make me live. But I'm glad to be God's service one more time. I'm glad to 
be God's service. I'm glad to be God's service. I'm glad to be God's service. One more time. Oh, you did it to me. Every time I get a chance to praise Him, I will praise Him, praise Him. Every time I get a chance to worship, I will worship, worship. Every time I get a chance to worship, I will worship, worship. Daniel Dixon is coming with the announcement. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. Let us praise the Lord, everybody. Let us praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. The Lord deserves our praises and our worship. Amen. So we have to give him at every point in time that we can. We have to give him our praise and our worship. Amen? Yeah. Alright, so that's the first announcement. Alright, so Tuesday is our usual WhatsApp prayer meeting at 6.30 p.m. That's held in the WhatsApp group for those of our members who are not a part of the group. Speak to any of our leaders and we'll add it to the group. Then on Wednesday at 9 a.m. to midday, we have prayer meeting and fasting service here in the sanctuary. On Sunday, we start all over again with Rightly Divided the Word, aired on Fame 95 FM. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that is at 6 a.m. That's on Fame 95 FM. Then at 7 a.m., we have prayer meeting in the sanctuary. 8 a.m., we have Sunday school. And great Sunday school, Bills! Amen. And then at 9.15... We have our morning worship service. Praise the Lord. For our upcoming events, for the month of September, Pentecostal Tabernacle Wildman Street will be hosting their annual September to remember, praise the name of Jesus, and we want to ensure that this September is one that we cannot forget. All right? So as the dates draw closer, We'll be getting more information as it regards to which day or days we will be supporting the service. And if it is possible for you individually to go on days that are not assigned to Bucktown, you can also go and support. We're not stopping you. Amen? So we're going to support our pastor and first lady at <laughs> the side of the vineyard at Wildman Street. Raise the Lord. Amen. All right, so we have a YouTube channel, and we encourage you to go on YouTube, type in Pentecostal Lighthouse UPCJ. Once you are there, we encourage you to be a vessel. We encourage you to visit, subscribe, like, and share. Click the notification bell that you may be notified of every video that is posted, the services, Bible studies, Whatever event that we have recorded, live streamed, whatever it is, will be posted. Amen. And also, once you're on the videos, just comment down in the comment section. Amen. Amen. All right. Persons are encouraged to continue making donations toward the construction of another blessing that the Lord has given us, 11 King Street. Donations should be separated and 
uh, yes, it should be separated from regular tides and offering and the envelope labeled King Street Project. Checks should be made payable to Pentecostal Lighthouse. And for direction series, please contact us for banking information. You may contact us by sending an email to pentelightupc at gmail.com or our phone number, which all of our members by now should have memorized. 876-781-9606. If you want to be a part of our services, if you want to speak with a minister, you want to arrange for personal Bible study, baptism in the name of Jesus, baby dedications, counseling, marriages, funerals, if you know anybody that needs the Holy Ghost and wants a church that they need to attend, the Holy Ghost is right here, the pool is around there, the river is around there, and the Lord is here. Amen. If you want to arrange for any of those events, you may contact us by sending an email or calling or sending a WhatsApp message. All right? Thank you for joining us for worship this morning. And the Lord Jesus Christ indeed richly bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. And it's testimony time. I'm just going to ask the persons who are asked to testify to come. So that's Brother Christopher, John, and Sister Cassandra. Praise the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord, everyone. I just want to thank the Lord for all that he has done for me. Um, well, Youth Core was uh, very you know, different from what I normally um, we used to, but you know that we have to grow, and so because of that, now I remember um, we were supposed to go on the road, and we normally go at ten, ten, go on the road at ten, and you know when we're going in the community, we would like invite persons to our night services. We would also tell their numbers and also, you know, if they need any prayers, would stop and pray with them. You know, throughout the week it has been, you know, a bit tense, but I realized that when it was like Friday, Friday was a, a better day than in the week because probably we were mainly on the streets and so we didn't really have much person, so, you know, one on one, but what caught my attention was those like the shuttings the shuttings and when we went in like different houses with the shuttings that the old persons could remember um the first one that we went the house that we went is like there were some dogs and we went up the hill we didn't get you to anybody and they would come back down and when we stopped there she invited us in and when we were there she, you know, she was saying that she was going to go overseas and she had a lot of excuses. We spoke to her about like home Bible studies and so forth and she, she was welcoming to the home Bible studies but at the same time, it's like she's saying that she's going to think about it. So it's like everything, she's just going around the whole matter of we ministering to her. But we still give her the word, we prayed for her and we left. Um, another case was when we, we were at a, we went to an old lady's house. She was sick. And the, the person that led us, she stopped there. And we, we prayed for the lady. But before, like, everything, she was just talking and she was just, you know, expressing herself, oh, the Lord has been good to her because she was just praying a while ago saying that God I need a healing healing from you and you should send somebody so we prayed for her and you know when 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 I left I I recognized that it is very important to follow the Spirit of God and you know the person that was leading us I just encouraged her to continue because sometimes because when we went up there there were some dogs again and we didn't want her to go up there, but the Lord used me to say, come, let us go. Because at the end of the day, 
I remember encounters with dogs many times. And when I, when I stop being afraid and I just go, it's like them just stop bark. Right? So because of that, now I said, okay, Lord, I'm here, you will go. You know? And when we went up, she did. Like she went in the house and we did pray for the lady. It's not about us, you know. It's about Jesus. And whatsoever we go through in life is for a reason. Because many times when I come and I talk, even at home and so forth, we think that, okay, it's just, it's just normal. But I can remember as well, the fasting morning was Wednesday morning. And I was, you know, sleeping at first. And it was about after four there about. And I just started to pray. It's like the Lord started to anoint, anoint my mind and my head. It was a very, very, you know, it's like it's a newness. Because the, the leader was just talking to us like with the Monday coming down. And he's saying that let us not go home the same way we came. You know, and I woke up the fasting morning and I got a new, a, a refreshing touch from the Lord. And then the, 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 the Thursday, it's like, because I know myself and I know that the Lord has been working on me. And I know that the Lord will never lose. He will never lose. And I know as, as well that when we are weak, he's our strength. And it's like the Thursday morning I was there pray, um, praying and I started to pray the word of God like I used to. And I felt so good in myself. And I started to intercede for everybody in the, in the, um, the, the church, because the church was stayed. And I am so happy because many times, I think it was two times, persons come here and they would anoint my loins here. And they would say, you need to gird up. And you gird up with the word of truth. And I believe that I've got my breakthrough and I believe that God has given us the victory because even um, the Friday night there was some accidents. A car got stuck in a ditch and then um, a bike man. I don't know what happened but I just saw one man on the ground and another man like easing up the bike off him. And it's like I'm saying what is happening here? But God turn around everything the service went on even the the box burst i think the monday night and the mics were not um as loud as they should have been and everything but god has been good no one has been saved but i believe today is a sunday and today um we we have invited them out to service in the morning as well so i'm praying and hoping that someone at least one person will be saved today and I'm just praying that you just pray our strength. Everyone that went out, we took a group picture. And you know, it has been good to really went on that experience because it is not about us. And when God wants to work, he does his thing. So I just want to give God thanks. Praise the Lord, everybody. Right, right, right. Youth Corp has been an experience to remember. The, you, can, you can ask my parents this, the Sunday evening and the Monday morning, I, I was fighting for my life. I asked the dictator, I said, no, I don't want to go, I don't want to go, please don't send me. Why? I don't know what I would have done if I didn't go. I went and my, it's like God just changed me, literally. I have a direct fear of one-on-one, -on -one. not with people that I know, but people that I don't know. So evangelizing for me has always been a problem. Because I'd go with you guys, but I stand at the back because I'm like, I don't really want to talk to people. But by Wednesday, I got over that. Right? That was no longer a problem for me, and it's no longer a problem for me. Right? But God has been good. I've seen the works that he has done. You know, those people who were there with me are, were mostly adults. So I've learned many different things from them, you know. But I feel like if you've not been to youth court, you're missing out. 
Seriously, you are missing out. Because the things that you learn on the way there, the things that you even learn on the first day. Because I didn't know that I would be the one helping out with the mix and box at, at, um, when I was there. I didn't know that until I went there. And up to now, I kid you not, I don't know nothing that, um, that, that's on that mixer right there. Nothing. But God used me, and I'm very thankful for it. Amen? As Sister Cassandra said, we did go around the place, very high, high, high hills. I've lost a lot of weight, <laughs> you know? But we did go around, minister to people. We're still um, waiting to hear if the church has had more members since the week and see if anyone has been saved or baptized. There was a little boy who all throughout the week has, 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 has sorry, proper English, constantly said to us that he wants to be baptized. I think this one, he is supposed to be baptized. So we're praying for him also. Amen. Pray for us. Pray for those who went. Pray for the pastor, Pastor Llewellyn, as I pray for myself and everybody else in Jesus' name. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. He's a wonder. He's a miracle. He's a miracle working God. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. And I just want to take this time to acknowledge Sister Suzette Harris. Praise the name of Jesus, everybody who graduated. Sister Suzette, praise the Lord. I want you to come. And I just I want to testify. You know that she has um, she graduated from art and she's going to she will tell you more about it. Praise the name of Jesus, everybody. Because as God's people, as people of God, and as uh, it came to me in the Sunday school. We are never at the bottom. We should always be at the top. It doesn't matter. Even when we're going through it, we should always push out the best. Praise the Lord Jesus. So I just want to invite Sister Susan to the share with us. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. This road was an easy road for me. But as Jody said, when you're in Christ, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Well, everybody know me. I don't like to do things, especially when Sister Sandra is on your back. But, you know, I give, I give God thanks for the members here who encourage me a lot. Sometimes I say I can't do things because of my educator, of my, I don't remember the word to use, but everybody know. And when you, when you know sometimes when you're coming from a community that you know that you can't do things and your mother bring you down and say that you will graduate into a crocus bag. I remember going to school, my mother said that I was 15. I went to her, went, I went to my father for a lady. I went to her for some money to help me graduate. And she said, we're from me, whatever, girl, what you know, and go well, and graduate in a crocus bag. Everybody know crocus bag, what crocus bag look like. And I went home and I was crying and my stepmother said to me, don't worry, if it's the last cent we have, you're going to graduate from all in school, and I did that, give God thanks. And I grow up, always want to be a nurse, 
because I love to look about old people, sick children, clean up vomit, clean up blood. I always love those things. I don't have any problem doing those things. And I always love to do things when, when people ask me to do it with my heart. And I remember growing up, I said, I, I can't be a nurse because I don't have to be educated to be a nurse because people in white, you have to write and do CXC and all those stuff. I remember, I'm going to call her name, I remember I went to Sister Manning and she said that, what are you doing? I said, I want to be a nurse. She said, why you don't be a nurse? I said, because I don't have the qualification to be a nurse. And she said, you don't have, they have practical nurse. I said, oh, yes. And I cut story short. I said, okay, oh, you go about it. I said, you can go through art. I didn't want to go no far place. And I didn't know, I want to, have a, I want to do a long course, like I hear, because do I know that I am not easily catch up on in certain things, but give me the money and the mass, I will do it fast. So I went and I do a about, check about, I didn't get a chance to get in. And I remember I get through to go to one and the branch. And I, when I went to the school, the teacher was there that usually teach me when I was a teenager. And she said, yeah, man, you can do it. I said, no, no, miss, I cannot do an eight week course. Not on a God history. Never. And she said, you can do it, Suzette. I said, no, I'm, I will think about it. And my manager said, Suzette, so you want to do it? And I said, yes. And I registered, started the course. The school was only two days, Tuesday, online, online and me. This is a no, no. Sunday, face to face, where we teach her to do the, the people them in a wheelchair or to spread the bed when they are sick, in bed and out of bed. And I can't believe that I learned so many things in, in eight weeks. I watch YouTube, what I even know about that somebody teach me, and I watch it, and I did an exam with computer, and I was saying that I am doing work with computer. No, 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 that is not me at all. Computer, me and a friend. And it was so easy when I went, my commander was teaching me to use the computer. When I went to exam, I couldn't believe that day. I said, Lord, help me, please. Even if I 50 at the past mass, give me 52. Because if I get 52, I know that I'm going through the gate. The exam marks same time on the platform. And when I said in my thing, I didn't read it over. I said, I'm bad, I'm bad. I'm just do it. If I get 52, I'm good. And when I get back the results, same time, I got 78. I said, God, if you do this, I have a 52 and you give me a bracha. And I said, awesome, God. And I remember when I was going back to it, I said, Jesus. Oh, me finna know how to set, oh, which bed should it come first and which should come second. And me said, look, I could I get 80. Although my man was saying, that, you know, you could I could get 80. Me said, look, you know, 78, I brought and me get. And I mean, I grow and grow in God. I've been through so many things. And I remember when the next exam in Lindsay, that was for the Sunday, to do the practical, I was still there pondering and I'm not. I can't bother with the group thing, you know. I can't manage the group thing at all because one of us said this time, one of us said this time, one of us said this time. I can't take a confusion. I'm too miserable. I can't bother. I can't bother. I can't bother. So I said, come on, come on, come on. Anyway, I went and I did. I didn't get no grade in that one yet. I don't know. They said I have it. I didn't go and check it out. And I remember when they said that everybody passed their exam. I said, Mr. Shua said, everybody pass? She said, yes, everybody pass, and congratulations, and she said that we are going to graduate. And I see myself graduating from a school with gold, never we are going from a barn. Never go to school, and we graduate now, I'm going from a barn in my life. And I'm saying this to say that People who go up in age, young people too, will have, don't have confidence in their self. Stay in the church. Don't take influence from no one out there. Take it from in the church. It, sometimes it may not the way you want it, but sometimes they say things, I am not agree with it. 
tell you straight. But I learn to take those sometimes and look at it and say, you know, say it's true and push my way. And because of God and because of members here who are encouraging, I push my way. I always love to do things and I'm planning to do an early childhood one next. Yes. And I'm saying that to say that people who are up in their age, past 20 going up, I don't have nothing. Don't you say you don't, don't want to do nothing because you can't read it, you can't say you can't, whatever. Trust God. Believe in God. Take the word of God. I can do all things to Christ who strengthened me. Thank you for everybody. Nothing is impossible if you trust the Lord. Nothing is impossible if you believe on his word. There is a secret that my God can do. What he does for others, he can do the same for you. Nothing is impossible when you trust the Lord. Nothing is impossible when you trust the Lord. Nothing is impossible if you believe on His words. There is a secret that my God can do. What is that for a man? He can do the same for you. Nothing is impossible if you trust the Lord. Nothing is impossible if you trust. Trust the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give and it will come back to you. Good measures, press down, shake it together and run it over. Give and it will come back to you. When you give, you give to the Lord. It will come back to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together and run it over. Give and it will come back to you. When you give, you give to the Lord. Give and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down. Together and run it over, give, and it will come back to you. When you give, you give to the Lord. Give, and it will come back to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together and run it over. Just lift our hands, everybody, and just worship the Lord and thank Him for all that He has done for us when we did not believe in ourselves, and He gave us the strength and He sent person to encourage us. And just thank Him, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus, Hallelujah! You are worthy, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. May your struggles keep you near the cross. May your troubles show that you need God. May your battles and the way they 
should may your good days prove that God is good may your bad days prove that God is good may your struggles
Jesus, everyone. Just going to invite you all to stand as we invite Minister Manny to come and to share what the Lord has been on his heart. Praise the name of Jesus. You are broken. So today. There's a mender in the house today. There's a transformer. There's a life changer. There's a situation redeemer. There's a soul saver. There's a promise keeper. There is God in the house today because Jesus is in his church. And I don't care what your situation is. Today, today, today is the day of change. If you will believe Jesus, today is the day of restoration. I don't care what the enemy has stolen from you. Today is the day that you can recover all because Jesus is in the house. Today is the day you can leave your safe definitely change my life belongs because Jesus is in the house today bless the name of Jesus bless the name of Jesus let me greet each and every one both here on the online in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ praise God I don't know what your specific situation is today I don't know what ails you what hurts you I don't know what's troubling you what's bothering you I don't know what you desire but cannot obtain I don't know what you long for what you cry for what you search for but I one thing I know the answer you need is all wrapped up in the matchless majestic omniscient omnipotent and 
unmatchable name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's all in him. The mighty God is Jesus and it's all in him. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. To him be glory and majesty. To him be honor and power. To him be dominion forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the head of all principalities and power. The Bible said when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. And one of the gifts he gave was a baptism of the Holy Ghost. I'm so glad I've got my brother. I've got my sister. And you can have your sin because it's Jesus the same yesterday today and forever oh glory be to God oh glory be to Jesus oh glory be to Jesus oh glory be to Jesus oh hallelujah to God hallelujah to God thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah who is will never change who is will never change Jesus is true and truth remains who is will never change who God is Somebody give God glory inside here this morning. Somebody bless the name of Jesus. Somebody give honor and majesty to our Lord God. To him be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. His name is Jesus. He is the God of the impossible. He is the God of the improbable. He is the God of the unthinkable. He is the God of the unknowable. He is God Almighty. He is God 
all by himself. He is not part of a trinity. He is the one true and living God. The sole occupier and possessor of earth and heaven. Hallelujah. The earth is his and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he has thrown it upon the sea and established upon the floods. And I want to say this morning, his name is Jesus. Do you know him? Do you know him? Bless the name of Jesus. I'm going to invite you to stand if you're not already standing. And turn your Bible to me to St. Mark chapter 10. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name, the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. St. Mark chapter 10 from verse 46 to verse 52. Praise God. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side begging. And when he heard it, that it was Jesus of Nazareth. He began to cry out and say, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace, but he cried the more a great deal, saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise. He, call, he calleth thee. And he cast away his garment, rose. And came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Praise the name of Jesus. I'd like to spend a few minutes focusing on verse 50. And he Casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. As I say to you this morning, you cannot put on righteous garment if you are still wearing the old clothes. Yes. Let me say that again. You cannot put on righteous garments if you are still wearing the old clothes. May I have the Deacon Thompson to pray at this time. Praise the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, as your servants stand before your people to declare your words. Even now, Lord, I know the enemy is mad. I pray that every spirit that is not of you will be put on a subjection even now, Jesus. I pray especially for the ears of the word today that will hear and be stirred and will change, Lord Jesus Christ. Let your words go forth like a two-edged sword. Bring conviction. And I pray that you will bring people to an altar of repentance. The pool is ready. The river is ready and Jesus is ready. And I pray right now, Lord God, let there be a holy hush within the sanctuary, Lord God, where when the word go forth, Lord God, it will come down just as all your power and your manifestation came down upon Mount Sinai, Jesus. And Lord God, let your will be done in our lives as we look forward to heaven even now as you anoint your man's servant to speak as an oracle at this hour. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God, they may be seated. There are some people in this world that you call hoarders. H-O-A-R-D-E-R-S. These are persons who cannot let go of old things. My wife has a very... Okay, my wife has a habit that if you give her a gift wrapped... When she unwraps the gift, she will preserve the gift wrapping just in case she's going to give somebody else a gift and she needs paper. Then she will go to the store and she'll buy a gift and she'll pay the store to wrap the gift. And so over the years, we have accumulated quite some amount of gift wrapping paper, gift bags, I, I, I am not so sentimental. You give me a basket. I have enough baskets. 
So I'm not going to stay attached to that basket for very long. If you want it back, just let me know and I'll take it back to you. Not the ones you gave me in the past, those are gone. But they are person who can't let go of old things. The closets get clogged because you've bought new garments but you just can't let go of the old ones. And unless you have something like one of those Hollywood star walk-in closets after a time, even the current clothes start to get crushed because they're all pushed up against each other. Not that type. Once it gets to a certain point, it may be good for drying of water, it may be good for washing car, but it's not good enough to be in my closet anymore. Praise the name of Jesus. But persons gather, gather new things and they pack it with old things. And it may be all right for the things of this world. But when it comes to Jesus, the old and the new cannot coexist. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. In the time of the apostles, we saw where the Jews tried to bring the gospel of grace to coexist with the law of Moses. Praise the name of Jesus. Even in this day, there are persons who insist that you need to keep the laws of Moses. You need to observe the Sabbath. You need to observe the ordinances. Praise God. But blind Bartimaeus had a different perspective on life. In those days when you were a beggar, there was a certain type of garment that you put on so you could be identified. I am not quite sure whether it was to invoke generosity in the heart of the giver or to warn the, those who are very stingy to walk wide. But you are to wear this garment. So this man was blind and he was a beggar. Then he heard that Jesus was passing by. Praise God. Now I want to kind of jump forward for a finish that to another episode. There was a man who was lame, lying at the gate, beautiful of the temple. And he saw Peter and John. And the Bible said when they said, look on us, he fasted in his eyes on them, expecting to receive some good thing. But this man, he didn't see Jesus. He was blind. He couldn't see. But he heard Jesus was passing by. And then somebody told him that somebody he never thought he would hear. He said, he calleth thee. Praise God. And the man jumped up and his first action was to rid himself of the mark that had testified to his present state. Because he was seeking a better future state. Praise God. And that's why I say you cannot put on righteousness garment. If you are still wearing the old garments of sin. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. As long as you want the change in your life. You have to look carefully on what we currently have and we will recognize that there are some things that we have now that are incompatible with the life of Christ. There are some things that we do know that are out of sync with a godly lifestyle. There are some things that we have now, some places we go now, some ideas we hold now that must be first dispensed with before we can truly say we are going to live for Jesus because understand this if there is going to be a change the change has to be in us because God does not change he said I am the Lord God and I change not praise the name of Jesus praise the name of Jesus Hallelujah. The Bible said the wages of sin is death. Praise God. So you can't be reaping the wages of the old life if you expect the gift 
of the new life. You have to be prepared to step away from the things that once pleased you and be willing to accept and conform to the things that please him. The songwriter said, take my mind, control it. Take my will, conform it. Take my life, transform it. God wants us to be different. Hallelujah to Jesus. He does not want a washed over sinner. He wants a sanctified saint. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. The Bible says we have to put off the concern in the old man, the former conversation, before we can put on the new man, which after the righteousness of God is made in Christ Jesus. You cannot simply put on a brand new jacket over a dirty old shirt and say you're dressed. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. The theme is pushing onward with the original. And in the original, there was never a compromise. God said, be ye holy, for I am holy. I don't want, I don't want dual citizenship between Egypt and Israel. You have to come out of Egypt and give up that citizenship if you want to be part of my kingdom. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Paul Praise the name of Jesus. Met the disciples of John at Ephesus. And he heard they had been baptized according to John's baptism. Which was a good thing because John said, Come out and bring works worthy of repentance. John said to them, Come, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, preparing the way of the Lord. I indeed baptize you unto repentance. But when Paul met them, he didn't say, You've got it good. But let me just tell you something you cannot work with it. He said you've got to take all that. John indeed baptized you unto repentance saying you should believe on him who should come but you need to be baptized in the name of Jesus. You have to put off the old before you can put on the new. Oh bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. We cannot be wearing the fornicating lifestyle of humanity. And I'm not here just talking about sex. I'm talking about spiritual compromise. I'm talking about social compromise. I'm talking about ethical compromise. I'm talking about the compromise of morals. Where even when we know better, we will turn the blind eye. Because that as such things go. But when Jesus wants us, he's saying, put that off. If you have to come, you need to serve me. Love the Lord with all your heart. Heart, with all your soul with all your might I don't want any squatters on my property oh bless the name of Jesus bless the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah so humanistic fornication cannot be covered with Christ like purity you have to put it off Earthly compromise cannot be covered over with godly separation. You have to put that off. Bless the name of Jesus. You cannot carry the cares of life when you are saying you have the heavenly assurance. We can't sing blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. If our hearts and minds are still confused and consumed with the cares of this world. Because the Bible says the cares of this world will spring up like weeds and choke it. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. The lust of the flesh cannot simple, simply be covered over with the desire to serve God. The Bible said all that is in this world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of God but is of this world. And this world pass away and the loss thereof. When we are going to put on godly desire, we first have to put off fleshly loss. Praise the name of Jesus. 
You cannot begin a new life still wearing the old clothes. Praise the name of Jesus. I've got some persons who have asked to prepare to read a few scriptures. But I want to say this. I remember that Sister Manning and I used to work at the same place. That was where I met her. And it was she, her late mother and grandmother who invited me to church. But there came that time when I decided that I wanted to serve God. And I remember after I got saved, I got baptized, received the Holy Ghost, I proposed to her. And when she went to Pastor Stewart, Pastor Stewart said, give him one year. Praise the name of Jesus. Give him one year. Because you see, yes, you're saved. But are you still wearing the old clothes? When Lazarus came out of the tomb, he was alive. But he was still wrapped up in the old clothes. And until Jesus said, loose him and let him go, he couldn't move anywhere. Praise God. So Pastor Stuart was not taken in by this tall, dark, handsome chap. He was looking for that. He was looking for someone who had put off the old man. And had put on the new man. Because the child of God should not get married to a husband still wearing grave clothes. Yes. Yes, yes. I'm talking to you who may be desiring to go that route, whether male or female. You can't put on the new clothes. Somebody find for me Ephesians chapter 4, I think it's Sister Jody of that. Verses 24, 21 to 24. Praise the name of Jesus. Ephesians chapter 4 verses 21 to 24. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Ephesians 4 21 20 to 24 and it says, If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus, that he put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that he puts on the new man which of which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness praise God praise God so when you put on the new man your conversation changes the old lingua changes the old slang changes the old discussion changes. The old mindset changes. We are not here trying to sanctify sin. We are here to transform sinners into the image of Christ. If you have learned from Christ, but you are still walking after the ordinances of this world, you still have on your beggar's clothes. There is no point trying to fit. Because let me tell you something. It will not match. You are not properly dressed when you try to put righteous garments over sinful clothes. God requires a change in how we relate to each other and to the world. Put off the desires that only seek to satisfy the flesh and put on the desire that is directed and controlled by the Holy Ghost. And when you get to that point, you're going to find that he's going to take, praise I give you the garments of righteousness and your spirit of heaviness will be gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Many people would have said to Bartimaeus, man, you're wasting time. Just go on. Go. We sing the song, come just as you are. Yes, we are not waiting on you to look like church before you come to church. But understand this. If your mind is not prepared to look like Jesus, you're wasting time coming to church. You're just a sinner sitting in the congregation. Hallelujah. Until you are transformed by the renewing of your mind. One preacher said he was crucified in a place called his skull. If we are not crucified up here, we are not crucified anywhere else. 
because all things flow from the head. Bless the name of Jesus. Somebody else has sister. Now, brother Daniel, Matthew 9, verses 16 and 17. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew. Matthew 9, verses 16 and 17. Amen. No, no man putteth a piece of new clothes and unto an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. The principle there is that any time you try to mix the two, you end up in a worse state. Oh, you never heard that. Any time you mix, try to mix the two, you end up in a worse state. Jesus said to the woman caught in the act of adultery, has no man condemned thee? She said, no, yea, no man, Lord. He said, neither I condemn are you. Go thy way, sin no more, lest the worst sin come upon thee. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. His professing Christ is not just what we say with our mouth. It's what we express with our lives. And you're going to find that as long as you're retaining part of the old vesture, you cannot properly fit into the new suit. Bless the name of Jesus. The rugged, unkempt look may be the modern style of the world but if you want to make a fashion statement to impress God you need to put off the old garment somebody has second Corinthians 6 sister Gabby verses 17 and 18 second Corinthians 5 6 sorry second Corinthians 6 verses 17 and 18 Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Praise Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. When God brought his children out of Egypt, he opened the Red Sea allowed them to pass through and close it back behind them so he blocked off the physical way back then he promised them that the egyptians you see today you shall see them again no more so he blocked off the one they had but the bible said in their hearts they turned back into egypt Coming out from among them is more than a physical separation until our entire being, body, soul, and spirit is permanently and irrevocably separated from the world and the loss thereof until we come to the place where we are all sold out for Christ. We are still wearing our garment. It doesn't matter how much we, what we do in church if we are always boasting of the old lifestyle because the Bible said well, of the patriarch of Abraham, he said called of God he came out not knowing whither he went living in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, they hear with him of the promise because they look for a city which had foundation, whose builder and maker is God. Because they truly, if they had been mindful of the land from which they came, there had been opportunity as long as you retain your citizenship, your passport, your property in the old life, you have a flight back. 
Her bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. You cannot put on righteous garments if you're still wearing old clothes. Bartimaeus was a beggar. And unlike the man who sat at the gate beautiful, he was not going to Jesus to beg money. And because he knew what he wanted was going to change his life forever. The first indication was that he took off what represented the old him. Because he was expecting and knew him. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Brother Matthew has 2 Corinthians 5 verses 17 to 19. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. We're changing here to the life changers here. The transformer is here. We're walking to rising to walk in newness of life. We're rising to walk in a different dimension. We're rising to walk in a new perspective. We're rising to walk after a new order. We're rising to walk after a new hope. We're rising to walk. We are rising from the dead. And now we have life because you have he quickened who were dead. We are no longer dead. We don't belong in graveyards. So we are coming out. Brother Matthew. Praise the Lord. Wherefore, therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, all things are passed away, behold, all things are become new, and all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation, to wit that God was in Christ, reconciling to the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation praise god in last sunday's gleaner i saw an article on the eu representative who was leaving jamaica that lady had been here for about three or four years but she had not accepted jamaican citizenship because she didn't belong here let me tell you folks we are ambassadors of this to this world but we are not citizens of this world we are emissaries from a better kingdom seeking to win souls to be citizens of that kingdom but we are not going to give up our space in the heavenly kingdom simply to fit in in the earthly order we are different we are clothed with the righteousness of God. And we are not going to be of one of those of whom it is written. Like a dog returning to his vomit. And a pig that is washed to wallowing in the mire. We are put on the righteousness of God. Because the Bible said he had made him to become sin. Who knew no sin. That we might become the righteousness of God in him. If you are here today. And you find yourself still bogged down with the old clothes. It's, it's time to put it off. Hallelujah. Make up your mind. Decide to live for Jesus and put it off. Because God is not going to put on his righteousness over the old clothes. You first have to take it off. I don't care. How much links you have. I don't care how much influence, how much status, how much resources. As long as it is against the righteous order of God. It is not compatible. Put it off. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. When Bartimaeus came to Jesus. Jesus said, what will thou that I should do unto thee? The man did not say, make me sufficient so I don't have to beg. 
He didn't say, give me a big bank account so I can take care of myself. He didn't say, tell the people that they need to be generous. Then to covetous, they must give to the poor. He said, Lord, that I might receive my sight. Because the blindness, the Bible says, in part has happened to Israel. But it goes on to say that the God of this world has blinded the minds of those who believe not. What we need is sight. Because let me tell you something. Dirty clothes and clean clothes look the same way to a blind man. Beggar's clothes and king's garment looks exactly the same to a blind man. White shirt and black shirt look the same to a blind man. But when you receive sight, you see the difference. But Bartimaeus was not waiting to receive sight. He knew that Jesus makes a difference. And so he did not wait to see. He knew this is beggar's clothes. I don't know what it looks like. But it's beggar's clothes. And where I'm going, I will not be a beggar. Jesus said to him, Go thy way. Thy faith has made thee whole. And the Bible said, he immediately received his sight. And he rose. And he didn't go his way. He followed Jesus. I will follow Christ. I will run the race. Fighting the good fight. Resting on my faith. I will bear the name of Jesus. I will give him all my life. As for me, no matter what the sacrifice. I will follow Christ. Jesus. 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 One more point as I close. The Bible said, casting away his garment. He did not take it off neatly and hang it on the stool where he had been sitting because he had no plans to come back and pick it up later. There are times when persons come to Jesus and they neatly fold the old life and the things that represent it and they hoard it because they want to keep it just in case the new one doesn't work out they are not prepared to make a complete separation. They are not prepared to say goodbye world. They are not prepared to say come what may. I am all for Jesus. But Paul says what things were gained to me I counted loss. And do count them but down. Forgetting the things that are behind. And reaching forth to the things that are before. Forgetting him. Forgetting her. Forgetting it. I am going for Christ. And I'm inviting someone today. If you have not made that steadfast 
commitment. The Bible says, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding for as much as you know. You hear the words? Steadfast, unmovable, always abounding for as much as you know. But your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Is there someone who today is prepared? Whatever the remnant of the old clothes that you have. Is it an old theology? Is it an old relationship? Is it an old treasure? Is it an old... I don't know what it is. But if it's preventing you from really putting on Jesus' righteousness, put it off and come. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Praise it. Praise the Lord, everyone. Can we all come to the altar? Come just as you are. Hear the Spirit come. Come just as you Yeah. 
just as you are. Hear the Spirit call. Hallelujah. Come just as you are.
from the inside from the For you to be lifted I All I want Is for you For you to be glorified For you to be lifted I Music fades 
and all is stripped away, and I simply come, longing just to bring something that's a word that will bless your It's all about you, Jesus. When the music fades, when the music fades, and all is swept away, and I simply call. Oh, yeah. Longing just to Deeper within to the way things appear. You're looking into my heart, and I'm coming back to the oil of worship. And it's all about you. It's all. Deeper within oh, To the way oh, things appear oh, You're looking into my heart I'm coming back to oh, my God We were shared But it's, it's all about you It's all about you Jesus, I'm sorry, Lord, for the things I've made. When it's all about you, 
going to ask you to hold the hands of the person beside you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Koshatai. Ilomo sakatayada mashikite. worship you. God, we lift you up because you are Jesus. You are the Christ, mighty God. Even though mighty God, oh Jesus, we worship you. Oh God, hallelujah. Mandini kusatai. Holy Ghost, shut up. Mandele be kusai, endu shai. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, I pray that you touch every person here today. God, Masha. Eku shatai. I pray, Lord God, for the one that is not feeling well. My God, 
I pray, Lord Jesus, that for one that is worrying about the Koshai, what the doctor will say, the results are Koshatai. But God, I know that you are the healer, you are the best doctor, my God. And I saw, so I pray, Koshatai, I speak healing even now. I speak healing, I pray that that organ it will function as how it's supposed to function. I pray that the blood will flow as how it's supposed to flow. I pray that you touch that sugar diabetes. High blood pressure, Koshatai. I pray that you dry up cancer. My God, I pray, mighty God of Daniela, whatever problem your people are facing today, God, remove the limit from earth, you God. And I say, God, I pray that you speak to a dead situation. And I pray that every dead bones uh, that will come alive right now, God, uh, your people, God, uh, too long, Jesus. Uh, I've been joining a, join a pity party, but in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come against every spirit of deception, every lying spirit. We bind you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray God that you pull down every stronghold of the enemy, my God. I pray for that parent who don't know where the next dollar will come in from for back to school, God. I pray that you provide because you're the great provider. Mighty God, the great comforter. So for those who are feeling low in the spirit, I pray God that you will lift them up even though God, I pray Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Holy Ghost for every confusion that you provide clarity. My God, I pray, Lord God, Hashatai, for every spirit of anxiety that it will not come among the people, even though God, I pray, Lord Jesus, Hashatai, mighty God, Hashatai, that even though, Lord God, Hashatai, that you provide strength, strengthen your people, Hashai, strengthen your people, glory to God. The Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Oh God, you are real. You are real, Jesus. And so we call upon you, God. We call upon you, Jesus. And I say, mighty God, prove the doubters wrong. Oh God, fight this battle for us. Because you are still mighty and strong. You are still mighty, Koshai. And strong. Hallelujah. Your ears, Koshatai, are not too short. Koshatai, that you may not hear our prayers, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. For your prayer answering, God. Hey, God. Hallelujah. I pray that even though we'll have faith as a mustard seed, oh, God. Hey. That you can move mountains, shy. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I pray for a spirit of humility among your people today. That will never ever try to take your glory. God, hey, shut I, because all glory belongs to you. Kashatai, you are God alone, oh God, all by yourself. You are the one that said, Let there be, ah, God. Kashatai, Ekushama. I am no more shatai. You know, Mushata. Hallelujah, Jesus. My God, Ekushitai. I almost said, My God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything that was said and done here today. Ah, Jesus, that we are still believing. For those without the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah, that they will let go and let you have your way in your lives. I, oh my God, Jesus. 
Hey, God Almighty. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being God. My. Yes. Hallelujah. Clear the way, my God, as we go forth. Mashata. Makushitai. Oh God, every trap. Kushatai. Hallelujah. Pray that you plant our feet. Hey. Hey, Kushatai. Plant our feet, Jesus. On higher ground. Plant our feet. On higher ground, Jesus. God, we remember that we are above and not beneath. We'll be the head and not the tail. Oh, God Almighty, wherever we go, my God, I pray that your light will shine through us. My God. Hallelujah. Even though it's our workplace. Oh God, we bind every spirit yes, ah, that will want to bombard your people. Hey, shut I. Hey, yes. Oh God, and that I will understand. Echo hey, shut I. That you are the God in which we serve. Hallelujah. The God that will almost shut I. Echo hey, shut I. Hello, Mosatai. Oh God, that specializes in the things that seems impossible. Jesus. Oh, mighty God, and as we go, Jesus, I pray that you will go with us. Pray that you ride with those who ride, walk with those that will walk today, and drive with those that will drive. Koshatai. Holy Ghost, God, Akoshikitai, we come against every spirit, Akoshatai, of accident on the road. Ha ha. Pray that you go before us, behind us, beside us. Ekoshatai. We thank you one more time, Jesus. Hallelujah, as we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, can we just lift our hands, everyone, and let us just worship him and thank him for answering our prayers. Hallelujah for the victory report. Let us thank him. Hallelujah. He's faithful. He's just. He's true. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Can we all lift our right hands for the benediction? Ha, oh, Jesus, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jude 24 and 25, and he says, No unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power. Oh God, oh Jesus, both now, Kashatai, and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you all. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.